I'm going solo camping again, all packed up and ready to go. All right, are we ready kiddos? Look at how much stuff I have this time. I for sure did not forget my sleeping mat. I took out the rear seats so that the dogs can have this spot. got a new awning. I keep stepping on sharp things. I did bring my hiking shoes out. meant for one person. Oh baby. I did it! Oh my goodness, this is awesome. That only took two business days, you know? This is nice. I like this. Okay, oh. have the tent under the tarp so that in the morning if the sun is beaming on it then it wouldn't be so hot but I feel like that would just be a waste of this space because I could be hanging out under here I think I'm gonna move the tent that way like that how do we feel about that I should have unloaded the Jeep before. Oh, Echo. I should have unloaded the Jeep before I set up the awning because now the awning is attached to the back of the truck. Or not truck, why did I call it a truck? I attached it to the back window and now I can't open it. Okay, 
Now that I have broke a sweat and just look absolutely fabulous, I thought I would quickly thank Arate for sponsoring today's video. Oftentimes in my videos, you guys would ask me, where are your earrings from? Where is your necklace from? Chances are, if I am wearing jewelry, it is Arate. Oh, there is a coyote. You are acting so brave right now because Echo is here. This is how I'm holding on to the dogs. If I'm wearing jewelry, chances are it's from Orate. What I love about their jewelry is that they're pieces that you can gift other people in your life or gift to yourself. Even though I'm camping or like even if I'm going to the gym, I still leave these pieces on. Like I don't take these off because they're real gold, real gemstones, real diamonds. It's not going to turn colors on you. It's made to last. And so I just never take them off. And all of their pieces are sustainably sourced. I have a few staple pieces from them that I wear all the time, but they always come out with new stuff that I absolutely love. So this month for summer, I've been really loving their quilted gold collection. So that's what I have on my ears right now. And then as for my necklace, I am wearing the Toi et Moi. I hope I'm saying that right. Little gemstones on it. This is such a cute dainty necklace. You guys know I love dainty necklaces. And then on my hands, this one is the Diamond Brooklyn Bridge Ring. And then this one is the Midi Stackable Diamond Ring. I love these two. They're super dainty and it just adds a nice little sparkle. And because they are so small, it doesn't get in the way of anything. If you want to check them out for yourself, you can get 30% off with no minimum spend, which is such a great deal because Orate is already really fairly priced. They are a direct to consumer brand, which means that they cut out the middleman and they sell directly to you and so you can get really nice quality jewelry pieces for a fraction of the price so if you want to check them out you can get 30 percent off again you can click the link in my bio below and that will directly apply the 30 percent off or if you want to directly go to their website and put in the code my code is 30 waitly you want to come in i got a new summer sleeping bag okay at some point, I am going to get a proper camp pillow. For now, I'm using this one that I brought from home. Should we have a duck? Echo, sit. Good boy. Good girl. Good boy. The best puppies ever. This feels amazing. You might be wondering why I have Echo with me. So this is Echo. Oh. He doesn't like to be touched, typical Sheba things. This is my friend's dog. I am his godmother, okay? We've had that agreement that if anything ever happens to his parents, I will be there for him. I love him so much. He was actually Michi's boyfriend. She would get very flirtatious with him, okay? Them two just get along so, so well. I know you want a sibling, but um, for now we will have a godbrother. And this will be, oh, this will be the first time I put to test. Oh. That answered my question. I was wondering if Echo would be like on guard at all. I guess he knows. He knows to protect. So this morning I had a fontoon. Here they come. Echo. Mmm. Fontoon is really you guys like it? It is dinner time for the dogs. I think this is the cutest thing. Echo is bilingual. His parents are Korean. They taught me that, do you want dinner? It goes like this. I hope I'm saying it right. Pamukole. Pamukole. And he knows. He just went straight for the back. I always like to add a bit of moisture in Navi's food. It's just like a salmon stew. And she loves it. Can you clean up? Can you clean it up for me? Oh, raw bites. Echo eats a raw diet at home and his mom portioned out his food right here. Okay, yes! Chamukisimida! Sikan! Is 
this one's a little old, so I'm gonna swap it out with the one I brought from home. Is it one of those where it doesn't fit again? <laughs> this keeps happening to me. This has happened to me twice. Great. This is about as easy as it gets. I'm just gonna fry this up and then maybe add an egg. I bought this really adorable knife. Wall was laughing at it when he saw it, but hey, it's cute. I mean, how can you resist this? All right, I gotta say, at first I did not see the vision. When I first poured it out the bag, I was like, um, this does not look good. After I mixed it around, really let the rice crisp up, added the egg and the impossible meat, we got something. Oy. Let's try this Trader Joe's fried rice. Okay, girl, it's not bad. It probably would be really plain on its own, but after adding in the meat, the egg, and really letting the rice crisp up, this is pretty good. Hmm? I don't like these soft coolers. Oh, yeah. Lychee sparkling water. Oh, did you just eat a fly? Cheers. Which camping trip has been the most memorable so far? All of the trips are honestly so memorable. Maybe I would choose my first trip to Yosemite and then also Colorado in 2020. And we went on an overlanding trip. We went on Black Bear Pass. We went to Top of the World and it was a crazy experience. While that was really scary for me, and I'll probably never do it again. It was still very memorable and I loved that trip so much. Affordable travel camp gear, anything, like anything goes. Don't feel pressured to buy the nicest thing because you also don't know if you're gonna end up loving it. Definitely don't splurge on really expensive gear in the beginning. When I first started camping, I used anything at home, girl. Like we didn't even have sleeping bags. I just brought my comforter from home. If you're seeing my videos where I have like a bunch of gear, all of that is because I really enjoy this stuff, but you by all means do not need to. You can start with anything. Like you can use the hot pot stove that you have at your house if you have one already. That's what we did when we started. Didn't have any like outdoorsy clothes. I just bundled up and brought like sweaters that I had and then just buy a tent from Walmart or Amazon. D agree, Echo? Yeah, you good boy. Ooh, I just remembered you ate raw food and you licked my chin. Quite a few people commented that they want to get started camping, but they don't have someone to camp with. If you have a dog, go camping with your dog. Nothing makes me more happy than being with these babies. Or if you don't have a dog, I would recommend just going alone. A lot of you wondered how I feel safe. I actually do a lot of research, okay? Like before I go to a place, I do a lot of research. I am very selective about where I go, especially if I'm solo. If you plan ahead, and you're someone that is okay with being alone, it can end up being the most amazing experience. Of course, I love going with Wa, but I also really enjoy these trips where I'm by myself.
This boy is not happy about us ending the night early. He wants to go back outside. We're gonna go to bed. Navi, the little princess, is in bed already, as you can see. Once we came in here, she was ready. She found her spot. What scares you most about solo camping? I was raised in a family where my mom unknowingly made me fearful of everything because she was fearful of everything. My mom, bless her heart, I know she did not mean it because it was just the circumstances of how she grew up too. Growing up in an environment like that made me very fearful of everything. And then so finally I would say maybe in my mid-twenties that's when I had like my breakthrough in my mind where I was like, you know what? I need to stop living a life in fear. And so long story short, I would just say, go into things being prepared, of course. I'm not saying just go out there and be a fool. You know, really do your research. I just one day realized that like, I want to start experiencing life a little more in the way that I want to. I just try to do my best to prepare for things and obviously stay vigilant, okay? I am a very paranoid person, naturally thanks to my mom and so i think that also is my advantage because i'm very very aware of my surroundings all the time actually maybe i slip up sometimes but overall i would say compared to most people that i know in my life i am constantly very aware any plans on modifying the jeep currently don't have huge plans for it what i love about the tj especially the sahara trim is that it's just so nice just as is. Only thing that I'm thinking of doing right now is possibly getting a new hard top. A new hard top that can support a roof rack so that I can potentially one day get a rooftop tent. So cute here at night. I feel about my summer sleeping bag because I was so cold last night. Babies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 You guys want food? Sit. Sit.
I woke up around 6 30 this morning took the dogs for a walk freshened up went to the bathroom and now I'm just chilling I'm just waiting for my tent and my tarp to dry and then afterwards because I am in Santa Barbara I was thinking maybe I can take the dogs to downtown Santa Barbara and walk around or maybe take them to the beach so we'll see needed shape that I needed. <sighs> I think this might be the camp host's dog. So cute! Hello! Is it a friend? Hey! Oh, you're so cute. You're all gray. This is Paddling North by Audrey Sutherland, and it's about a woman's solo adventure along the Inside Passage in Alaska. So I thought it was very suiting to read this during my solo trips, and so far I'm really liking it. Having this is such a game changer right now. The sun is hitting diagonally, so the tarp isn't doing much right now. So I added the rain fly from my tent, I just kind of hung it up, and it's giving us some nice shade. This just made me realize maybe I can DIY something panel or like tarp that fits this perfectly for added privacy and shade. Navi's body tends to run really hot, so I brought her her cooling vest. I'm gonna wet it with cold water. This is one of the best inventions for dogs. You just add cold water in here and this will keep them cool for like 45 minutes depending on how hot it is outside. I just remembered that I had a tarp. Wow. Now I have all the shade in here. I think the next thing I need to buy is a camp table. I love sitting on the ground, and right now I don't have a table, so I'm using the bench. Oh, it's hot. Sick fun! It's so hot now. It's hot, isn't it, Nubby? The mushrooms make it really good. It's so juicy. I'm so glad I have this tarp. There is like a picnic area that's shaded too, but it's not really level over there. I wanted to just like stay here and have my shade. I think this tarp is one of the best 
purchases I've made. So in my last video, someone commented if I would be getting an awning for the Jeep. I thought about that, but it's quite expensive if you think about it because I would first have to get a roof rack and because the roof of the Jeep is a fiberglass hardtop, I can't really put a heavy roof rack on there. So it would basically have to be like this whole mount that goes on the body of the Jeep and that was a few thousand dollars. So then I started doing my research and I came across this moonshade and this was the best purchase. I mean, it was kind of hard to put up, but I think it'll get easier as time goes on. I think I'm going to figure out a system on how to put it up. But overall, it's so packable. It's so small. I can use it for the Jeep. I can use it for the Land Cruiser in the future. You can just like move it wherever you want. So that's pretty nice. And then this whole system of attaching a tarp is also nice. It gets really hot. So I'm glad I was able to put this up and have this little nest. I love it. great thing about this is that if you put it on the top, it actually helps suck out the air. Turns out I was able to open the back without the awning falling apart. Nice. Good boy. 